Hey guys, today we will continue our exciting California trip to Napa Valley. We took off from San Luis Obispo Airport on a beautiful spring morning. Everything looks great until my transponder failed. Here's what happened. San Luis Ground, Sirius uh, 701, Yankee Zulu um, at uh, ACI Jet, uh, ready for taxi. We have uh, X ray. Sirius 701, Yankee Zulu, San Luis Ground, runway 29 taxi alpha. Now we took our taxi up via Alpha One Yakuzuru. So now it's Tower Series 701 Yankee Zulu holding short of runway 29 uh, ready for takeoff. Uh, Northwest departure. Series 701 Yankee Zulu, Sandler Star, right turn approved, runway 29 of course takeoff. Ready, uh, runway 29, uh, clear for takeoff, right turn approved, uh, uh, one Yankee Zulu. All right, ready to go. Speed live. Wait for 75. All right, Tate. All right, 85, flaps up. Six hundred. Okay, caps available. All right, climb power set, flaps verify up. It's all up. Make sure. Thing later, engine parameters check. After completing the climb checklist, I noticed the transponder became inoperative, and tower called me right after that. There's one Yankee Zulu not receiving your transponder. There might be some problem with the transponder, uh, you know, or uh, investigate when you can do it. After that moment, I had two choices. Either continue to fly and diagnose the problem during the cruise, or head back to land at the St. Louis on Pispo. I decided to continue as the weather was perfect and the transponder was not required at my destination airport, which is uh, Napa County Airport Class Delta Airspace. The only thing I would miss is the VFR fly following service from controllers. I assume that without the transponder, air traffic control wouldn't know enough information to provide fly following. If my understanding is now accurate, please leave your comments below the video. To comply with regulation, I avoid airspace that requires transponders. That includes San Francisco Class Bravo, San Jose Class Charlie, and uh, Oakland Class Charlie and also the 30 nautical miles Mossy Vale. I kept all of them far away from the left wing. I spent a lot of cruise time going through the airplane flight manual and the Garmin handbook, but still couldn't identify the reason. Later on, I just decided to leave it after landing. Information whiskey 17540, wind variable at 3, visibility 10, Six Papa Alpha, Zeke for a minute, 10 on course. 6 Papa Alpha, approved as quick. 30005, visual approaching use, landing and departing, runway 19 right and runway 19 left. Notice to airmanship, taxiway Charlie closed to aircraft, weighing more than 30,000 pounds. 
5G NOTAMs in effect for Napa Airport. Land and hold short operations are in effect. Use caution for birds in the vicinity of the airport. Advise on initial contact. You have information with you. Now we're at the Bay Area. Left, on the left is San Francisco. Ship a secure sh uh, shooter harness. Fuel pump on. Picture full reach. Flaps later. Autopilot off. Naba County Tower Series 701 Yankee Zulu, about 15 miles to the southeast, inbound for landing with information whiskey. Series 701 Yankee Zulu, now to make left traffic, one liner left for downwind. One liner left for downwind, one Yankee Zulu. That's our airport. Yeah, okay, gotcha. Oh, it's extremely short, this runway. So we're going to need tower Sirius uh, 1 Yankee Zulu midfield. Sirius 1 Yankee Zulu, wind calm, NOP timbers 3003, runway 19 or left, clear to land. 19 or left, clear to land, 1 Yankee Zulu, thanks. Turning left base. The west uh, uh, for uh, runway one niner, uh, right downwind. All right, clear turn. on final. Here's one Yankee Zulu, turn left today in contact ground. Taxi to the end of the runway and turn left, uh, one Yankee Zulu. All right, we are here, Napa Valley. After leaving the airport, I figured there was one thing I forgot to check on the transponder. Please subscribe and find out what actually happened in my next video.